Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel, hi I'm Asymmetics, today we have a really interesting question, we need to rate this expression, so we have square root of 3 minus 1, we need to rate this expression to the 10th power, and this is entrance examination question, so right now we can easily check your school knowledge, check your algebra skill, we can easily pause the video and write your suggestion down into the comment section, write your solution down into the comment section, we will check our answers here in just, in just few minutes. So first of all, let's call this square root of 3 minus 1, let's call for example as x, okay? so let's write it right here so what do we have we have let square root of 3 minus 1 so this expression right here inside parentheses let's call for example this expression as x and basically we need to find x to the tenth power this square root of 3 minus 1 is x so we need to find our x to the tenth to the tenth power right now let's look closely at this expression what do we have right here we have square root of 3 minus 1 equal to x right now let's bring our, a, our minus 1 from our left side to, ref, to, to right side so as a result what do we have right here we have square root of 3 equal to x plus 1 we prefer our x on the left on, on the left side so we can easily change change position so let's write this x plus 1 on the on the right on the left side so we have x plus 1 equal to equal to square root of 3 right now let's raise both sides to the second power so let's square our our left side and our our right side as a result we can easily cancel this square root sign so we have our three on the on the right side and to the left side we have basic school formula we have x square yeah we have x square plus 2x and plus 1 equal to equal to 3 okay we don't need to solve it i'm going to show you a really great approach by reducing a power so right now we're going to express this x to the second power by the first power which help us to reduce to reduce a power first of all we, when we bring this three from our right side to left side we have right here minus two so as a result we have x square plus two x and minus two equal to equal to zero right now as i told before we're going to express this x to the second power through the first power so our x to the second power x square equal to two minus 2x okay when we bring this from our left side to right side and really this is extremely important expression for us because as i told before we need to find our x to the tenth power right now we know about x to the second power so we know x square we need to find x to the tenth power basically we can easily raise this to the fifth power we will have x to the tenth power but i prefer a little bit interesting method so a closer and closer we're getting closer and closer to x to the tenth power first of all let's start with x to the fourth power so for this we need to rate this to the second power so let's do this this is, looks like our our first first step we're going to rate this to them to the second power so we have x square raised to the second power equal to 2 minus 2x raised to the second to the second power as a result we have x to the fourth power which is closer and closer to x to the tenth power but let's start with x to the fourth power so we have x to the fourth power equal to here is our basic school school formula this is our mm, a square minus 2ab and plus b square so as a result we have 4 minus 2 times 2 times 2x yeah and plus 4x square really great right now let's simplify this a little bit so we have x to the fourth power equal to 4 minus 8x yeah and plus 4x square 4x square but we know that x square right here equal to 2 minus 2x so we write something like that we write but x square equal to 2 minus 2x so from here x square equal to 2 minus 2x so instead of this x square we're gonna plug in this 2 minus 2x which we found right here this expression okay so let's do the thing right now so we have x to the fourth power equal to 4 minus 8x plus 4 times 2 minus 2x okay so instead of this x square we can easily plug in this expression which helps us to reduce a power so minus 2x right now let's simplify this a little bit as a result we have x to the fourth power equal to 4 minus 8x plus 8 and minus 8x yeah plus 8 and minus 8x let's simplify this a little bit we have 4 and 8 we have 12 so x to the fourth power x to the fourth power equal to 12 minus 8x minus 8x we have minus 16 
16x. So x to the fourth power equal to 12 minus 16x, which is really great. But uh, in the beginning, just keep in mind that we need to find our x to the tenth power. Right now we know about x square, so we can combine. In the future we can combine this x square and x to the fourth power. Uh, right now we know x to the fourth power, but let's get closer and closer to x to the tenth power, because we need to find x to the tenth to the tenth power, okay? So right now let's raise once more to the second power. We will have x to the eighth power, which helps us a lot. Let's do the thing right now. So we have x to the fourth power. We squared it, yeah? Equal to 12 minus 16x. We need to raise this to the second power as well. Let's read this. What do we have as a result? We have right here x to the eighth power on the left side equal to, we have 12 square minus 2 times 12 times 16x and plus 16x to the second power. Let's simplify this a little bit. We have x to the 8th power equal to, we have right here 144 minus 24 times 16, we have 384x and plus 256x square. But keep in mind that right here we have x square equal to 2 minus 2x. This is extremely important expression, as I told before, x square equal to 2 minus 2x. So we're going to write something like that. We're going to write but x square equal to 2 minus 2x. So instead of this x square right here, we're going to plug in this 2 minus 2x, which helps us to reduce, to reduce a power. Okay, let's do the thing right now. So we have x to the 8th power equal to 144 minus 380 4x plus 256 times x squared 2 minus 2x. Okay, let's simplify this a little bit. We have x to the 8th power on the left side equal to 144 minus 384x plus 256. 256 times 2, we have 512 minus 512 x. Right now let's add our expression with uh, as a constant, so right here and this one as, as a variables. Okay, this one and and this one. As a result, our x to the 8th power is equal to 656 minus 896 96 x. Okay, so this is our x to the 8th to the 8th power. So we know about x to the 8th power, we know about x to the 4th power, and basically we know about x to the 2nd power. So right now we know 8th power, 4th four, power, and 2nd power, but we need to find our x to the 10th power. How can we combine this expression when we need to find our x to the 10th power? Of course, we need to multiply x square times x to the 8th power. Next, we will have x to the 10th power. So we need to multiply x to the 8th, x to the 2nd power. 2 minus 2x, we're going to multiply by this one, x to the 8th power, and as a result we will have x to the 10th power. So let's do this multiplication right now. So I just rewrite all the things from the, from the previous step right here. We have x to the 2nd power, x to the 4th power, and x to the 8th power. We know each of these expressions, and we need to find x to the 10th power. As I told before, we need to combine all of this expression, and then we need to find our x to the 10th power. How can we do this? The easiest way is to multiply x to the second power by x to the eighth power. So let's do the thing right now. So we have x to the second power times x to the eighth power. Then we will have x to the tenth power. But on the right side, we will have two parentheses. The first one, x to the second power, we have 2 minus 2x. We're going to multiply it by x to the eighth power, 656. Yeah, we have 656 minus 896 x right here. Let's multiply this parenthesis by this one. On the left side right now we have x to the tenth power. So x to the tenth power, exactly the, the expression that we need to find, x to the tenth to the tenth power, which is equal to, we're going to multiply parenthesis by parenthesis. So we have 1312 minus 1792x, 92x, minus 1312x, and plus 1792 92x x square. Right now, right here, we can easily we can easily subtract it with expression with with this x. As a result, our x to the tenth power is equal to 1312 minus 3104 4x and plus 1792 92x square. But according to the thing that x square equal to 2 minus 2x, we write absolutely the same thing as we did it before, but x square 
equal to 2 minus 2 minus 2x. So we're going to do absolutely the same thing. So instead of this x square, we're going to plug in 2 minus 2x. So our x to the 10th power equal to 1312 minus 3104x plus 1792 times, instead of this x square, we're going to plug in 2 minus 2x. So we have 2 minus 2x. Okay, right now let's simplify this. Let's open our parentheses. So we have x to the 10th power equal to 1312 minus 3104x plus, right here when we multiply it by 2, we have plus 3584 and minus 3584x. Right now with this x right here, we're going to subtract with this one. And absolutely the same thing with this with this constant. When we add this this constant to this constant, as a result, x to the tenth power equal to 4,896 minus when we when we add this one, we have minus 6,688 x. And this is our x to the tenth power. But just keep in mind that we had a substitution. Square root of three minus one is is our x. So as a result. We can write but square root of 3 minus 1 is our x. So the final thing is to plug in instead of this x, we're going to plug in this expression from the beginning. So square root of 3 minus 1 is our x. As a result, we have right here square root of 3 minus 1 to the 10th power of the expression that we need to find equal to, we have right here 4,896 minus 6,000. 688 times x, but x equal to square root of 3 minus 1, square root of 3 minus, square root of 3 minus 1. Let's open our parentheses. As a result, square root of 3 minus 1 on our, on our left side to the 10th power equal to 4,896 minus, right here when we multiply it, we have 6,688 times square root of 3, and at the final sign, we have right here plus 6,688. 88. And when we add this one to this one, when we add this constant, as a result, our final answer to this question, so square root of 3 minus 1, we're going to raise this to the 10th to the power equal to, when we add this one to this one, we have 11,584 minus 6,688 times square root times square root of 3. And I was wondering about this answer because it looks like mm, it looks like wrong answer on the first side because we have square root of 3 minus 1 it's not that um, that um, like huge value. This looks like 1 point something or 2 point something something like that. And when we raise to the 10th power it's not that huge number. So I was wondering about this right hand side because we have 11,000. How can we how is it possible? How is it possible that this is the exactly the same value as right here? And I want to check it. Let's right now, right now let's check it. So uh, let's write our proof. Let's write our check. Let's check this. Let's check this solution. First of all, let's rewrite it. We have square root of three minus one. We have right here to the to the tenth power equal to eleven thousand five hundred eighty four minus six hundred six thousand six hundred eighty eight square root of 3. So first of all, I raise this uh, expression on the left side, I raise this to the 10th power on my calculator. And when I raise this, I have, as a result, I have 0 0.04044. On the right side, it's really great to work with another expression. When we factor 32 from here, we have over here 32. In other parentheses, we have 300 362 minus 208 square root of 3. Okay, when we subtract 32 from here, and it's much easier to evaluate this expression. So on the left side, we have 0 0.044 equal to, we have 32, 32 times, the inside parentheses, we have 342, but instead of these, instead of this uh, expression, 208 times square root of 3, I find the exact value on my, on my calculator, and this is equal to minus 361.99 nine eight six one eight seven so this is our expression when we multiply 209 by square root of three and uh, the final thing we have right here on the left side 0 0.044 and when i multiply 32 by this expression so 362 minus this one we're going to multiply this 32 by 0 0.001 three eight 
one, two, one, eight. And when I multiplied this expression, I was a little bit shocked because right here we have 0 0.044, which is equal to 0 0.044. We have right here, moreover, we have 19, 89, something like that. So this is absolutely correct solution on the left side. And on the right side, we have absolutely, absolutely the same absolutely the same thing and which tells us that this is a correct a correct solution you can also check it right now on your on your calculator you can also check it uh, right now you can also see uh, this solution right now in, in math libraries you can also see this this approximately answer on in, in internet libraries which is really which is really great so which tells us that our approach is absolutely absolutely correct so let's write our final answer to this to this question so let's let's separate this solution right here and let's write our final answer so our answer to this question our answer to this question so in the beginning what we had in the beginning we had square root of 3 minus 1 to the 10th power our final answer equal to 11,584 minus 6,688 square root of 3 exactly our solution that we solved it before this is our answer when we factor 32 which is absolutely mm, a great uh, thing to express this our our answer so absolutely another interpretation so when we factor 32 from here we have 32 32 inside parentheses we have 362 minus 208 square root of square root of 3 this is our second inter this is our first interpretation this is our second interpretation and the third interpretation when we uh, check it in our calculator this is this is not a great thing on your exam because you you don't allow to check it on your on your uh, on your calculator but for those who are interested in approximately answer equal to 0 0.044 1989 this is our approximately answer and you can easily see it on, on different internet libraries you can easily see this on different internet libraries but this is our answer on, on, on your exam this is our two interpretation this one is like more easier to to understand approximately answer this is like a huge value right here but both of these are a correct interpretation we proved it we proved it right here so this is my explanation to this question i hope you understand it i hope you learned something new i hope you understand this approach but also write your suggestion down write your approach down into the comment section it will be really interesting to exchange information into the comment section it will be really interesting to see your response about this question and thank you for everyone for your support thank you everyone for your time i hope you learned something new this is my main goal on my youtube channel and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe at the definitely help me out now for this particular video i have more than 300 videos on my youtube channel so i really appreciate your response i really appreciate when you when you like this type of videos this is really kind for you okay so thank you for your time thank you everyone for your support wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and love math